kids ham and cheese back here with you sorry for the long hiatus uh been pretty busy around here uh the life of an ec in the aries unit uh keeps you going pretty strong and we've had some other things taking up some time but we're back now and we're going to try out something new today first off as you can see behind me here we are in the shack today trying out something new if you like what you see here let me know if you don't like what you see tell me as well and uh, we'll do something to improve on that um, real simple shack here as you can see this is what we run off of and we work the world from right here at this little desk so there's that but we're not here to talk about that today instead we're going to talk about DMR cheap and easy just like me and we're going to show you a great easy cheap way to get on DMR and we're going to explain a little bit about it and try to debunk some of the myths surrounding how to set up for DMR and how to get things going in a positive nature. So stick around and we'll jump into it. Okay, so in order to get started with DMR, the very first thing you need is a DMR ID. Now, I've heard stories people will say, oh, you don't need a DMR ID to listen. You don't need this, you don't need that. Well, the truth of the matter is, you do, okay? And one of the big things about DMR2 is, in order to receive that DMR ID, you're going to need a call sign, okay? That's the other thing people will say is, oh, you can listen in as, you know, studying for your tech, etc. That's not the case. You have to have a valid call sign to do this. You also have to have an email address. So let's go ahead and get logged in. This is the screen you'll see. Um, and this is how you get it. You're going to go to radioid.net. You see right there. And this is the screen that comes up first. So we'll go ahead and get logged in. And what that's going to do, it's going to bring up a screen. Um, depending on where you were at last in it. In this case, it's bringing up my radio ID and various things of that nature now when you go to use this this is your dmr id right here okay this is what you're going to need to program joint star which we'll talk about and this is what you're going to need for the brandmeister dashboard you're not going to get that right away all right right away what you're going to do is you're going to log in you're going to set this up and you're going to do everything you need to do. And you go into home and once you're logged in, this is the screen you'll see by default when you first log in from the home screen. To get to your dashboard and so on and so forth, you're going to use your call sign. Now, when like I was saying, you're not going to be able to get that DMR ID right away. When you first log in, you'll get your details set up. And you can see there's mine right there. You're going to go to this part right here verifications okay and this is where they're going to verify your call sign this is why i said you have to have a call sign these call signs are manually verified in the ols database and you have to have one plain and simple there's no way of getting around that once you're verified which takes about 48 hours on the average to complete you're going to see this go from pending to verified and you're going to see this go from status pending to approved. Until that time, this will show up in big red, in big red font and say pending, not able to be used. Once it changes, it all turns green. Okay? Then, the very next thing you're going to do, once you see this approved, see where it says BM integration right here? And send data to BM. That's your Brandmeister setup. All you do is click on that refresh succeeds you acknowledge it and now it's been sent to the brandmeister side now if you're in here you log in and this is the screen you see when you log in you're trying to find that dmr id again all you do is hit the three lines brings up the dashboard over here which you can see what that looks like and you're going to search out dmr you see it right there dmr click and we're right back where we started with our ID, remarks, call sign, and so forth. All right, let's take a look at the Brandmeister system next. Okay, so this is the user dashboard for Brandmeister. 
and you can access this from phone you can access this from wherever and do what you need to do with it all right so when you bring it up this is what a user dashboard looks like on brandmeister as you can see settings up here your preferred language and your call sign will come up and of course your dashboard over here which we'll get to momentarily so it'll show you how many repeaters are online hotspots how many calls are in play masters etc map showing where everybody's currently active where they're not active and of course all that good stuff and some brand meister news etc um, okay so the important thing you need to learn here isn't so much hot spots or anything like that what you need to be looking at is going to be right over here in this area services so we're going to click on services and you're going to see hose line and self-care self-care is where you want to start at for this once you get your other stuff set up through the uh, radio id.net now once you integrate and mesh this as you can see there's my dmr id that has come over from previous with the um, radio ID preferred languages are there you can turn on APRS intervals beacons etc not necessary for this however one thing that is absolutely necessary and this is as of October 1st and why we're doing this video today is right here you're gonna see the hotspot security at the bottom and a password you have to have a password now to use the Droidstar system, or any system for that matter, uh, with the new Brandmeister protocol. Whereas previously you didn't have to have that. But now it's a requirement as of October 1st. So, you're going to enter a password in here. My suggestion to you is, make it the same password as you have for a Brandmeister system. Mine's already in, so I'm not going to do anything with it. But you can go into your user dashboard then and you'll see everything lines up from there okay so now we've set up with brandmeister we're integrated our next step is to get on the air and functioning so what we're going to talk about now is droid star and how we do this on the cheap and easy so that's up now okay so the next step is going into the actual droid star program now to do this you'll have a series of ways you can get there you can get there through an android phone you can get there through a tablet such as the samsung galaxy tab a that we're using here or other various modes and methods what this does is this takes place takes the place of the dmr radio and the hotspot and the raspberry pi etc etc and so forth now, when you open Droid Star, this is what you're going to see on the screen typically. In order to get started, you need to go in here to Settings. And you're going to enter your call sign. And once again, you're going to enter your DMR ID. This is how the system's going to track you and follow your move. Now, remember when I said about you need that Brandmeister password? That'll go right there. If you remember the TGIF group, that'll go right there. Your latitude longitude you can enter that in the scripter so on and so forth and go from there this other stuff we really don't touch it stays automatic as it is now might gain typically set that about 20 to 30 percent you don't want to go any further than that the next thing you're going to do if you're in the dmr realm is you're going to update your host and you'll get a check log tab and then you're going to update your ID files. And you want to do this every time you get in because this stuff will refresh and this will bring up the new IDs that are signed in since you logged in last, etc. Moving down from there, this goes into the DSTAR stuff. Uh, the My Call, Your Call, Repeater One, those are your reflectors and various reflectors and modes there. Okay, so we talked about log a moment ago updates the log post to be updated as well and then to learn about it this gives us a rundown of how it works okay so back to the main now what you can do with droid star is several things of course you have dmr 
you can also do the reflectors, those are your D-Stars, YSF, the ASU System Fusion, P25, the NXDN, which is your next edge through uh, the Kenwood programs, and then some other various options as well. So we're going to stay simple and go DMR for now. And typically, the easiest one to connect to, if you're in Brandmeister, is going to be your Brandmeister rooms for your associated countries. Here in the States, Brandmeister 3102 is the way to go. Then you need to know the talk group ID of where you want to reach to, whether it's a repeater or whatever. In this instance, we're going to use 31360 today. And what this is, is the New Jersey TurboNet. Um, this is a tri-state system for uh, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut. And all you do to connect to it is connect up, and you're ready to go. Now to transmit, it's quite simple. KC3 NHE testing, one, two, three, four, five. And it's as simple as that. Now that goes out over their system, and anybody that's connected to that talk group ID will hear us. So let's stick it out for a second and see if we get one back. Okay, nothing heard. KC3 NHE clear. Okay, with that DMR ID, we can go some other directions as well. But first we have to disconnect. So we disconnect from the system, and let's go to the ASU System Fusion. Now, this will bring up the Wires X nodes, in this instance, America Link. If you want to test this to see if it's working correctly, or you want to see if you're hearing things correctly or being heard, this is the room to go to. There's always somebody in America Link. And just like that, you can see it's already coming up. And there's always somebody in here. So when it comes back up, and you'll see here momentarily, hopefully, if not, it'll look similar to what we used when we tested the turbo net a moment ago. And their call sign will come up just like our call sign did in this instance. KC3 NHE testing. We'll see if we get somebody come back to us here. Alright, well, the Italians are trying, but it's not working out too well. So we'll kick out of here. KC3 NHE clear. And then, of course, always remember to disconnect out at the end. So that's your Droid Star in a quick pinch. Um, the way we look at it is this. This is a very simple program. It's cheap and easy, just like me. And this is a great way for you to get up on the air and try out DMR to see if it's for you. Um, you know, you can spend nothing to get going other than a little bit of your time. Uh, if you decide it's something for you, then you can start down the realm of DMR. And you can start down the realm of other things as well. However, this is the quickest and easiest way to get up and running. Regardless of how you get to DMR, you're still going to have to go through the waiting period of a radio ID. You're still going to have to set up the Brandmeister system or the TGIF system, whichever you choose to use. You're still going to have to walk through these steps. The only difference is, using this program right here, those steps are done for you. You don't have to worry about making sure you have the time slots and the color groups and everything else correct that you do with a normal DMR setup. You don't have to make sure that you coded it correctly in Linux. You don't have to make sure that you did other things. And the most important thing is with this, especially if you already have a tablet or an Android phone on hand, you didn't have to spend the time and effort and money put into the program. For instance, a typical DMR handheld from somebody such as Anytone. Those start at $100 now. You still have to have an open spot or a zoom spot or a shark or whatever you choose to use. You still have to have everything else that goes into it. You still have to be able to code. 
you know, it might take you six, seven, or eight hours, depending on your level and skills of abilities to program, to be able to do these things. And then you may not have got it right the first time. This, it's as simple as settings, call sign, DMRID, back to main, select where you want to go, and you go. And that's it. So, Hopefully you found this to be interesting. Hopefully it inspires you to try it out and go from there. So that's our cheap and easy for today. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see, tell two friends. And if you don't like what you see, tell me directly and we'll do something to change that up. And if you have any ideas for videos, drop them down there in that comment box below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. 7-3 off.